DJ Ben 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 <sighs> Now this, this is the conversation that I did not want to have. But a lot of y'all have been hitting me up in the comments, uh, inboxing me. I actually got a couple text messages too. Uh, DMing me about this whole Eminem uh, kill shot record. Because you know I did, I was one of the first to report on the uh, MGK uh, Rap Devil record coming at Eminem. And I didn't want to have this conversation because a lot of you may not agree. But this is what I actually do. Even if you don't agree with me, this is what I like about this DJ Bandana Black YouTube channel and my bandana fam, everybody that's tied in with DJ Bandana Black. Because we can have discussions. We might not always agree, but we can at least get our point across. So let me explain a little bit first. Um, Eminem is one of the best rappers of all time as far as putting words together, as far as rhyming words, as far as lyricism, as far as being a dope MC, as far as just being nice as a, as a rapper. I'll give him that, hands down. One of the nicest. I don't put him as the nicest ever. He's not the GOAT to me because, um, and just, I say it like this. <laughs> no, that was actually about to sound racist. I'm about to say I got white friends. Listen, this is my channel. I'm going to keep 100% G with you. A lot of the stuff that Eminem rap about that he said and the shock value of it, if he was black, it wouldn't work. He wouldn't be as big as he was if he was, if he was black. And that's not to take away from him. Like I said, he's a dope MC. But at the time that Eminem came out, there was, it was unheard of for a, a really a white rapper and a white rapper who was actually nice, like who would actually spit up there with the Jay Z's and the Nas's and all of that um, in the game. So a lot of a lot of people when they put Eminem so high up, like this is where this comes from. When the whole MGK uh, diss thing came out, somebody had, had a discussion. Somebody was saying like. MG, uh, Eminem would destroy him. He battled plenty of people. He killed plenty of careers. And I asked him who. And nobody can tell me who. When you really think about it, who has Eminem killed lyrically? I mean, in an actual, I'm not talking about like a URL smack DVD battle, but as far as song for song, who has Eminem battled and won? Ja Rule doesn't count because he didn't do it by himself. He had 50 Cent and G Unit and a bunch of other people. Um, who else? Like, I'll give Jermaine Dupri. He battled Jermaine Dupri. I mean, I could battle Jermaine Dupri. He battled Nick Cannon. He battled Mariah Carey. He battled Britney Spears. He battled NSYNC. The only person who I can say he he, he he may get some points for battling and winning was Benzino. But nobody really like nobody really cared about Benzino. I can name five artists from Buffalo, New York right now who would destroy Benzino in a rap battle. So that doesn't really put Eminem on the GOAT level to me. And I'm, I'm giving a little bit of backstory to explain it to you, my whole viewpoints on his Kill Shot. Kill Shot was a dope record. I like Kill Shot. Kill Shot was a very lyrical record. It was so lyrical. This, and this is part of my point. The, 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 the joint was so lyrical, I had to listen to it four or five times. And then I had to download the lyrics and read the lyrics and then verify some of the names of who he was talking about, which was accurate. So it was dope. But you know the reason why I say it doesn't really, he didn't body MGK? Because when you hear MGK joint, the beat was nice. What he was saying was nice. His his vocals was nice. The video, just the whole energy, everything was nice. I didn't have to get a dictionary and break down everything to see what he was saying. And a lot of stuff that he was saying, I mean, y'all got to keep it G. A lot of stuff he was saying, we was agreeing with. Like, we tired of those weird hats and the sweatsuits and all that. And you just rich and grumpy and everything like that. You always mad. And, like, I mean, not to take anything away from Eminem, but what would, in the last, like, couple years what have we really i mean gotten from him so i'll say it like this um kill shot was a dope record i honestly like rap devil better kill shot was a more lyrical record and the reason why the title of this is saying it's too late for eminem because in 2018 the majority now listen to this before you get in my comments the majority of people that like consumers, as far as like the, the younger generation, all that can care less about lyrics. Like it don't make a difference. Like it, 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 nobody want to have to get it. Our attention spans is fucked up. Like we can't really concentrate for too long. We want to hear something dope, straight to the point, and get at them. And I think for a younger person like MGK, first of all, he's the first person to respond. So he showed that he wasn't scared. He came at one of the greatest, called him the greatest in the actual song. So that's why I kind of give him a, a couple points for it. Like, damn, I really hate to have this conversation because I don't want y'all to think like I'm an Eminem. Hey, honestly. Besides the MGK Wild Boy song, I totally forgot about MGK until I didn't even realize MGK was still alive until this whole battle thing happened. So let me make that clear. 
I still listen to some of Eminem records to this day. A lot of the stuff kind of doesn't make sense to me today because, like I said, if it, if he was, it, it just doesn't. Like, so I don't really see. Maybe, maybe y'all can help me up in the comments. If y'all really feel like Eminem is the better, the, be, the best battle rapper ever, he destroy everybody lyrically. Who has he destroyed? When I said Joe Button would kill Eminem, probably. And I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'm going to keep a G. Forget being humble. I'm not going to say probably. I'm very confident that Joe Button would kill Eminem in an actual rap battle of going song for song, lyric, bars, beats, all that. So I'm, I'm going to just get that probably. I was saying probably just so y'all wouldn't be mad at me and look at me kind of side eye. But I'm going to just keep a G. 100% honest on this video. In my belief, Joe Button would destroy Eminem in an actual back and forth battle. And one of the reasons why I say that, Eminem kind of alluded to this when I was watching the Sway interview and he was saying how he don't really want to respond because if he had to respond back to everybody who he dissed on Kamikaze, he'd be responding forever. Who did he diss on Kamikaze that could really respond besides Joe Button, Charlemagne the God, and Academics who has a platform, but neither two of those are rappers. Joe Button is the only rapper on that thing that he actually says something about that could we would respect or even be interested in a, a back and forth battle besides Drake. Even though he said he wasn't talking about Drake, I don't really know if I believe him. I kind of feel like M was kind of copping a plea with that because who else was he talking about with the, with the ghostwriting thing? So even if, even if he makes it, like he said, a broad spectrum, he technically was still talking about Drake. But that's neither here nor there. I like Eminem. I actually kind of like MGK now too because of this whole thing. But to give y'all my answer, I don't think Kill Shot was a Kill Shot. I think Kill Shot was sort of like remember when Drake and Meek Mill was beefing and Drake put out the um, what was the song? He put out the first song and it was kind of like just just it was like a jab. It wasn't really a higher hit. I really hope that this is what this is for Eminem because if this is this is what he like this is what all he got. This is what we was waiting for. This ain't it. Th th in my opinion, this ain't it. And like I said, I respect both of them as MCs. I actually respect Eminem more because I, I respect them as a legend and all that. But in 2018, that super lyrical, heroical, spiritual, like nobody really care about that. And before y'all say, yes, y'all do, yes, y'all do, look at the album sales of uh, uh, Nas. Look at the album sales of uh, The Last Lupe Fiasco. Look at the album sales of a Wale. And then look at the album sales of a Little Uzi Vert. Look at the album sales and ticket sales of a Young Thug. Look at the streams and the billboard placements of a Takashi 6 9 So y'all can cut it out with all that. No, we still support real rap. We still support real music. Because if you did, a lot of this stuff that's garbage, and I will say it is garbage, wouldn't be on the top of the charts, wouldn't be outselling, wouldn't be going platinum and all that. So y'all can just cut that whole that whole talk out. It's fake. Like, yeah, I still listen to a lot of the, the, the lyrical stuff, or whatever like that. I listen to a lot of like a lot of dope MCs. I listen to a lot of newer MCs. A lot of the stuff I get for free. I've never purchased a bootleg copy of Nas or Dipset, though. I just want to put that out there. I never. I probably bought Nas I Am album probably at least five times. Dipset, Diplomatic Immunity, probably at least ten times or whatever like that. But just being realistic in 2018, somebody got to tell y'all the truth. I don't know if y'all getting this on the Diamonds Live channel, on the DJ Academics channel, on Ebro in the Morning, or Charlamagne the Guy when everybody's talking about this stuff. But realistically, in 2018... That super lyrical stuff is not really going to... You got to do something that's entertaining that like people can really get with. Like We don't want to have to download the lyrics and read that. And when I say we, I'm just speaking in general. Because like I said, I downloaded the lyrics and I wanted to know what he was talking about. A lot of stuff was dope. And the only thing, the one thing that I really can't respect on the Eminem joint is... And y'all can say, oh, you hating on him or you, you being biased like that. Whether it was true or false, he's just dry snitched on Diddy. Like That whole part shouldn't have even been in there. Like That's... That's crazy, like, to say that about the whole Tupac thing and all that. Like, that, it's, it's over. Like, that's in the past. It's definitely something he shouldn't have put in there. That's dry snitching, whether it was whether it was true or false. I'm just keeping, keeping it G. We don't need no paperwork. That I mean, that's the paperwork. Download the lyrics. That's the paperwork right there. But I need y'all opinion. Let me know who won this battle. Is it 1-1? Because, honestly, I'm going to say... I know I was joking. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, again, at DJ Bandana Black, I was putting up posts and, and tweets saying MGK20, let's argue. I kind of still feel that way. <laughs> I don't know. I, just for just, just to, to please everybody, I say it's, it's even. I'll give them a, even a 1-1. A one -one. They both got one point, even though realistically, uh, I don't, this Eminem one, just, this, this just, it just wasn't it. I just think like the time of Eminem's impact at a, at a time, it wasn't just it wasn't just him as an MC that made him just so untouchable and so much on a high scale. First of all, he was backed by Dr. Dre. He was a white rapper who who was rapper who could spit, and it was back when people wasn't spitting like that. 
So a lot of that played into how you view Eminem. But if you fast forward 15 years later, and don't quote me on the exact amount of time, when you fast forward to the present day, none of that stuff matters. Eminem is not the biggest rapper out right now. Eminem, prior to dropping this Kamikaze album, we really didn't hear or talk about him until the whole Joe Button and Everyday Struggle and people talking about um, his his last album was, was trash, which I, I, I'm i not going to say is true. I didn't like it at all. Like, there was nothing I liked about the last album. This this Kamikaze album, let me just make that clear. This Kamikaze album right now may be in the top three albums of the year. I love this Kamikaze album. This actually might be, you know, I got to go back and listen. Without going back and listening, I'm going to go back and listen and let y'all know for sure. But this might be my favorite Eminem album of all the albums. So, I'm not an Eminem hater. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. Like, who has he battled that really mattered? I mean, what what really has he has, has he done out here? Y'all let me know, though. Make sure y'all hit in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and share. And if you want to donate to the channel, like I said, so I can get that GoPro camera, just drop a dollar, drop $5 in that Cash app or that PayPal link, which is in the description. The new channel is in the description, too. And that's the channel where I get the GoPro and all that. We can go behind the scenes and uh, different concerts. A lot of times, um, artists and stuff come to the city. I get a chance to chop it up with them. That's where a lot of that uh, that, that stuff is going to be. But anyways, it's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connect. It even more respected. I'm a DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Oh, I'm a Buffalo soldier. It's small, so everybody in Buffalo knows ya. Upstate New York, but I'm still a Yankee. Giant and a Nick, Mets, Jets, we this shit. And you know I'm on the roof for a deal. Even though they don't win, we still root for the Bills. The taste the buff, how I miss that shit. I, it's your wood, miss that kick. I'm just saying, damn. I'm just sitting here reminiscing. Over things, smoking on some good, eating some Lenovo wings, counting up this money, seeing what the dough will bring. 716, welcome to the snow and scene. If you from Buff, then you stuck in your Buffalo ways. So I ball a phone, just like the Buffalo Braves. Got tucked in my belly, yes, I'm smothered in Pelly. Serving dimes, 12 12s, we call it Jim Kelly. I put them chicks on hold like a stoplight. Gotta get my guap right, or can put your block like. I've been doing this in super. Star was buckle, yo. Gat flash, we don't tussle. And I'm from Buffalo. I'm Buffalo, Zoya, Zoya. Buffalo, Zoya, Zoya. Buffalo, Zoya, Zoya. Buffalo, Zoya, Zoya. Buffalo, Zoya, Buffalo, Zoya. I mean, once again, Buffalo, Zoya, Zoya. 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 Buffalo, Zoya